we're told that a given circle has a radius of six inches. Okay, that's going to apply to all the following scenarios. The first scenario asks what's the length of a cord that has a central angle of 115 degrees. So we drew the, the situation that we had here. We put 115 degrees central angle here. We drew the cord that was created. We labeled our radius. Um, we use the property that we learned so that if we draw a line through the center of the circle that is perpendicular, then it bisects that cord. So, we had to do a little bit of work here. We had to split this angle in half as well so that we could focus on this right triangle that's created by that perpendicular intersection of those two lines. Um, our radius is six, so the hypotenuse, bless you. We knew the angle, we were looking for the opposite side here, so we used sine to solve for the missing side, but that was not our final answer. That was just the side of the triangle, which was half of the chord, so then we had to double it to get the actual answer to the problem. Then we reset the problem. We said, okay, what's the measure of the arc of a chord that is eight inches long? So we relabeled our picture, similar setup. Um, we've got uh, a central angle here intersecting an arc. Our cord, this time we know something about the cord. The cord is eight inches long. So we put that perpendicular bisector in there, cut it in half. So we're focusing on the right triangle right here. Hypotenuse is still six, or just the circle is still six. But this time we know that the opposite side is four. We're looking the angle. So we used still sine, but this time we saw that the angle should use our inverse sine. We got 41.81, but that was not the final answer. That was only half of the angle that corresponds to the arc. So we again had to double that to find the answer to the actual question. There was a second part to that question that said what's the perpendicular distance from the center of the circle to the cord, so we're just looking for that third leg of the triangle. So we did that in here. And this is where we left off, okay? Um, set up a little bit different, resetting the problem. The only thing we know is that the radius is still six, so we can still label this with six. Uh, this time they say that the perpendicular distance from the center of the circle to a cord is four inches. So this is what's being described. This distance is four. What's the length of the cord? So again, we're focusing on every single time you're going to do something with right triangles, whether it be Pythagorean theorem or whether it be trig. So in this case, we have two out of three legs, so we can use trig. Uh, x squared plus four squared equals six squared. So x squared plus 16 equals 36. Subtract 16 from both sides. x squared equals 20. So take the square root. Uh, that should look familiar. That's what we got yesterday. Let's simplify that square root. That's two square roots of five. Because 20 is four times five. Square root of four is two. And that was approximately 4.47, but that's not the answer to the question. It wants to know the length of the cord. That was only half of the cord, so we have to double it. So 2 times 4.47, 8.94 inches is approximately the length of the cord. What's the measure of its central angle? So I'm going to focus in on that right triangle. You don't necessarily have to do this, but um, I'm going to redraw the right triangle. And I'm just going to label it with the given parts. So we're trying to find the central angle right here. So a step in the right direction is finding the, uh, the angle at the bottom of this triangle. Which trig ratio would we use here? Okay, 6 is still the hypotenuse, 4 is the adjacent. 
cosine is the adjacent over the hypotenuse. We've got to use inverse trig to solve for an angle. Make sure your calculator is in degree mode. When I did this first thing this morning, I did not change my mode, and my answer looked really, really weird, but that kind of alerted me to this is not the right answer. So the angle that I've labeled as X is approximately 48.19 degrees. Are we finished or have we answered the question? Is that the measure of the central angle? It's half of it, okay? It's half of it um, because it's just that left side of that triangle or the big triangle, so we need to double it. So the actual central angle is 96.38 degrees across. Okay? So on the worksheet that we were working on yesterday, you've got some problems that deal with um, bisecting these chords. Now let me point out a couple.